Welcome back friends this is 13th tutorial on JavaFX 8 in this tutorial we are going to see the list view so let's start with creating a new project I'm going to say list sorry tutorial 13 finish I'm going to delete the PS program. So I'm going to set the title Java FX8 tutorial. 13 on list view I'm next uh, I'm going to create a layout so say vbox vbox equals to new vbox and fix the import for a vbox next add this vbox to your scene so vbox next i am going to create a list view say list equals to new list view next fix the import for a list view it will add java fx in control dot list view import then i'm going to add some data into the list so I'm going to create a observable list. Observable list of type string. Say data equals to fx collection dot observable array list and in observable array list add the elements so I am going to add some colors say red then black comma green yellow brown I will add one more color say silver And 
semicolon now fix the import for observable list then add this list items into the list view so i am going to add these items so list set items data into the list view then next i am going to create a cell factory for the list so list dot set cell factory and i'm going to add some class with the lambda expression and i'm going to call a class through Say class name color name. This is error because of we have to cre create a class in the this example or application. So I'm going to create a class of color name. So let's. Say static class of color name extend list cell of type string. Fix the import for a list cell so, and I'm going to add one more class to this color name class. So public void we are going to use update item a class of java with a string item and a boolean variable of empty it will check for whether the item is empty or not if it's empty it will return a false value it will return a true value if it's not empty it will result some it will return some result so i'm going to check whether it is empty or not so super update item So I'm going to add item and empty into the this method. Next we are going to add a rectangle to rectangle of colors. So rectangle rectangle new rectangle of dimension 100 by 20 well, and fix the input choose the java x in shape rectangle and fix we are going to take the va values of the color and we are going to create the rectangle of that color of 100 by 20 dimensions now next if there is 
no item or item is null then if item is not null then we are going to set the field of rectangle and which is color dot wave and item it will pick the color name from the list value from the list value and it set here and assign to the rectangle next I'm going to set graphic of rectangle and else if item is empty set graphic null so this is the color name class so this color name class for set cell factory now next we are going to add label which shows the color color name so label is equals to new label fix the import for a label then label set the dimensions for the label set layout x and the value for x dimension will be 10 and set label for array bar for y and let the value for y that will be width of the label 100 x will be the height y will be the width now set the font for the label so label dot set font and say font of font I'm going to set Arial and I will delete this and set the size of say 20. Now next I'm going to add one more function for the list. So list get selected. model and selected item selected item property and add a listener So in the listener I'm going to add three variables observable string old value and new value and with the lambda expression I'm going to declare this so label dot set 
text of type string and new value this new value will be converted into the string when we change the color name it will automatically update to the new value and the it will be set on the label then next label dot set text field say color dot web and which is of type same string new value this this new value will be the color which is of type string then it will be say the as a set field value now the program our program is completed before that we are going to add this list and label to the our layout so v box get children elements dot add all and list comma label now we have added this list and label to the layout then set the scene and show now save the program and run so here is the output of our, of our list view example when i click on any color it will show here a lab on this field a label or, or name of the color so when i click on any color for example i have clicked on red so it will showing a red with the field of red and like i have said here so label with the text field text and text field is red similarly it's a uh, we are have used this color name class with update item to uh, draw a rectangle of color so here is the dimension of rectangle 100 by 20 it's a 100 by 20 rectangles of different colors and we have choose that color through this wave item when you, when we change the item that will be that is the color it will automatically change the label as so here is our tutorial 13 and if you have any questions about this tutorial you can ask me in a comment section and in the next tutorial we are going to see uh, sqlite database connection with one example so thanks for watching this video if you really like my work please like and like subscribe and share to my channel and see you in the next tutorial